Um, so quality of life um, is really important to be measuring in myeloma and AL amyloidosis um, because over the last 10 to 20 years, um, survival has increased um, by a lot, which is amazing. Um, but at the same time, patients are living with side effects and kind of worries and concerns about the future um, that they might not have been before. So I think it's really important that we kind of understand more about what those concerns are um, and really about this kind of psychosocial impact that myeloma and AL amyloidosis have on a patient so that we as kind of advocates and researchers and healthcare professionals can do what we can to understand that and then meet those needs. Um, if we're not understanding what those needs are then I think that there's, there's less that we can do about it. So I think PROMS, um, which are patient reported outcome measures, um, give us really great tools to understand and capture um, the impact that myeloma and AL amyloidosis have on patients and their family members um, and friends and carers. So I think in clinical trials especially, it's important to be measuring, uh, measuring quality of life and health-related quality of life. I think historically this is parts of the um, experience of treatment and care that have been missed in trials. Um, and you know, I think that if we're not really understanding the impact that a new treatment or a new medicine has on patients and the way that they feel, the side effects, the pain, um, the kind of worry about taking that treatment, then we're not really going to be able to understand um, the real kind of holistic impact of a patient um, taking that taking that treatment or medicine. Um, again, quality of life will help us understand why patients maybe drop out of trials. And um, so I think if we're not really understanding um, the impact of taking a treatment um, within a trial, then we're not going to understand that in the real world either. So I think it's really important that we measure quality of life and health related quality of life um, as part of trials so that we can understand the impact of treatments um, as part of those trials, but also when patients start taking it kind of um, in the real world. So the main uh, tools that are used in myeloma and AL amyloidosis um, are the EQ5D5L, which is a very generic um, tool which is designed to um, work across conditions. Um, it's a health-related quality of life tool um, and it's quite short, it's quite simple, but it is a generic tool and it's not designed specifically for myeloma. But it needs to be used um, for um, reimbursement organisations to make decisions about kind of healthcare and resources and allocations. So I think it it needs to be used, but also there are better ones for myeloma. So um, within myeloma, we have the MIPOS, um, which is a health-related quality of life tool. Um, and this is great as it really looks at the impact um, of myeloma on patients. So instead of asking, um, you know, how do you feel today, kind of good, neutral or not so good, it really asks about the impact that myeloma might have. So it'll ask, how does diarrhea perhaps affect your kind of day-to-day -day life? So patients really like it um, for that reason. Um, we also have um, the EORTC myeloma tools, um, which are also very patient sensitive, um, and patients re really like those, those tools um, for myeloma. Um, there is a new tool called the HM Pro, um, which is designed um, and led by a research team. Um, it was designed by uh, Professor um, Sam Salek, um, and it's for haematology, but it really works well in myeloma and AL amyloidosis. So we hope to see these tools being used more in clinical practice and trials in the future.